David with Lagori Drag Racing. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to save a log and a map file. So we're over here at a map file. And we read it out of the ECU. So when you have your ECU connected, you can press read ECU. And it will pull the data from the ECU. It will pull the map out of it. Read it. Put it into the computer. And then you can click save or save as. So if you click save as, it'll ask you uh, if you want to do it on the computer or if you have your ECU plugged in, it will have your multiple maps on here. So if we want to do computer, go to the folder, click on it. You can double click on it or click OK. And it opens up your files. So I'm going to go to my files and I'm going to go to my maps and I'm going to save it in here. I can save it whatever I want to name it as and it'll save to my computer. You can put it in any file that you want just as long as you remember what file you save it to. Same thing goes for the data logger. You open up a data log from the ECU, you download it. You can save file and save as, same thing. Put it into a folder you want, name it what you want, say time trial one, um, and then put the date or E1, put the date and so forth. And then save it and that will be saved onto your computer. Now, I don't always save map files, I save data logs. And the reason why I save data logs is because I can open the map from the log file. So if I push this red button here, I can open the map from the log. The map is saved to the log file. That's why if you email it to me, you can save you can send just the log because I can access the map file. Now, if that is not current on yours, or this is grayed out, the reason for that is you have this setting here unchecked in internal data logger. Make sure this is checkmarked and you can pull that log uh, or pull that map file from the log. So if you have any questions saving your files, let me know in the comments below. But it's very simple, uh, very easy to do. Thanks.